Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, CM Trip Gaming. I just got back from the gym right now. Whew, crazy chest day, man. It was absolutely insane. I will give you guys an update on my fitness is going. I haven't been lifting the past week, to be honest, but uh, about four weeks from now, I expect to get even bigger and bigger and bigger, bro. Bigger and bigger. But I'll let you guys know. I'll give you an update in a few weeks. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to be answered for the 15K giveaway. And also, uh, check out uh, check out YGO Market down below. Use PenGod10 for 10% off any of Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. And enjoy this absolutely amazing, amazing Fortress Wheel Extra Link deck profile. And if you missed the combo tutorial, check it out in the video we posted yesterday, as well as my 10K uh, subscriber winner. Without further ado, enjoy greatness from this next video. Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, CM from Trip Gaming. And we got the second greatest player on the planet over here, Jesse Cotton, uh, giving you guys an amazing, amazing deck that you guys wouldn't even see coming. Who thinks of these things? This isn't no Goki Extra Link. This isn't no Pendulum Extra Link. Not even a Je Blackwing Extra Link. Not even a Blackwing Extra Link. I thought I was genius for inventing that. Jesse invented a Fortress Whale Extra Link. Utilizing Fortress Whale. Little, Fortress Whale. Little backstory, Fortress Whale is my favorite card. Uh, that and Blue-Eyed Shining Dragon, I know, expensive taste, but... Bro, let me yeah. see your beautiful Fortress Whale quick. It's 200 bucks, right? Uh, yeah, around that. I got five of them for some reason. I'm, I'm kind of insane. Oh, man. Well, anyways. All right, bro. We're going to go right into the profile. All right. Fortress Whale Extra Link. If that doesn't grab your attention, then don't watch YouTube videos about Yu-Gi-Oh. Fortress Whale Extra Link. Enjoy greatness. We are all witnesses. All right. Uh, so before I begin, actually, shout outs to my team, oh, Titan yes, yes. and uh, MetaMats. I'm yes, using yes. that right now. Go yes. check them out. They custom designs. Yes, yes. So yeah, start off the F. We got our boss monsters, <laughs> Fortress Whales. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if they have goes in a rivalry, ha, some of this bigger than their guys, I win. <laughs> they can't out it's, 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 it's broken. Um, <laughs> has no effect, so yeah, it's obviously terrible, but I like it, so I built a deck around it. You can reward it with that deck. I can reward it with a different card, which I play and search. Um, three Sanjus, and Manjus are expensive, so I just don't have Manjus. So one sec, before people think that uh, you're not actually the second best player in the world and like second last best player in the world, Fortress Whale is a level seven, and I'm. Pr I don't even. I haven't even seen. I haven't seen any of these combos that Jesse does. But being level seven and ritual, with so many cards to get into it. I'm pretty sure it involves tomahawk, right? I used two tomahawks in one turn. Good lord, two tomahawks in one turn, <laughs> yeah. making Fortress Whale relevant, bro. I forgot whose card was. Is it Mako Tsunami's card? It's Mako's boss monster from. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Like, uh. Uh, second. Yeah. Like, it wasn't Duel's Kingdom. The one it was the one after Christian that, Battle right? City, right? Yeah, Battle yeah, City. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, what's oh, this that's one? that's my extra deck. Sorry. Oh, what's, uh, what's this one? What? The proxy for that? Oh, it's Manju. Oh, yeah, so three Sanju, three Manju. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. own Manjus, yeah. so. Oops. Um, the dev, what are these called? What are they now? Inc incantations? Yeah, so these cards are cool. Um, I pay more ways to get monsters, so I play three of those, because it can break a little more. Yeah. Uh, they're still cool, they're really good. It's like instant tribute fodder for the Forge's Whale, and then... Um, you have either Ritual Spell or the monster, you get the other one to your hand, so it was really cool. Um, Armageddon Knights, because like, the, you need to treat over this deck to get to your boy Power Tool. The new Ancient Fairy Dragon. Um, and then, you know what else is level 7? Detrudos, we play 3 of it, because you, <laughs> you can use it for Tribute Fodder and then bring it back. You go like, if you have like, uh, this, Manju, and the Detrudo, you can go Manju, Ritual Spell, Ritual Summon this, that is true on this, that's full combo. That's hilarious. So, why not? Uh, it works. Wow, I kind never of. thought I'd ever <laughs> see the day of Fortress Whale, Distrudo Turbo. Oh my god. And then it gets uh, more fun. So, level sevens, right? So, Nessie's level seven, some of us all from hand. And <laughs> you can just think so expensive. <laughs> well, I should have put a, a CP bottoms in here. Oh. Uh, I got one. Uh, one Jackalope, because we have one card in hand, just go discard Nessie, get Jackalope, discard Jackalope, special Nessie. Um, also, you can use him for Nightmare Fodder. Uh, and then, we're going more level 7, <laughs> Deep Sea Silo Can. Wow! Uh, this you play this too? Awesome, I love this card. So, well, I don't know what this card does, it hasn't seen meta play in like 7 years. Um, you can discard a card, especially some, as many level 4 or fish as possible from your deck, and the effects on fields are negated. I also use negates targeting, but I don't think it's super relevant. Like, you have to tribute a fish for that. Yeah, when a fish is activated, uh, 
Yeah, and if you negate the effect of a monster spell, trap the target's monster in the field by two beating on one other fish monster. Bro, how many times do you resolve this effect? Do you actually resolve it? In the combo, it resolves the effect. Wow. Uh, it's also level seven, which is neat, so you can make Tomahawk number two with it. Uh, and then you get Oyster Meister, which also hasn't seen daylight since uh -huh. this card was played. Uh, so you, you, play, you summon these two off of the Coelacanth, and when they're sent to the grave from the field, they summon another level one token. I think level one, right? It doesn't matter for me, but yeah, level one. Um, no, it's not once per turn either. Nope. So you just summon these two, and then it basically counts as like two Link 2s each. So uh, wow. this become, makes Link 4 by itself, which wow. is really cool. Wow. Well, Link 5, because, yeah, itself. But wow. yeah, so that's cool. Yo, you're uh, actually more, bro. Daps to you, bro. That's impressive, bro. How do you think of these things, man? I get bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, school's <laughs> off for now, so until school gets on, I have nothing to do. Oh I work God. at a goddamn card shop, too, so I just see all these cards, and I'm like, ooh, combos. Uh, three pre prep because this card is plus one. Uh, Nightmare fodder, or you can just summon the fortress whales. Or, I mean, obviously, that's insane. Three preps, same thing. Uh, these cards are both a three, so you play them. And more int cards in the moment of the contract. The hell? It's premature burial, literally. Pay 100 of our virtual monster in the grave. Um, I see, thanks to Ray for only having two first dead, so I have one only. <laughs> Old ass FET card. Uh, so you power tool for these three, and then you make Tomahawk, and then you bring back the Fortress Whale with this. <laughs> what the heck, bro? How do you do this? We summon on the Fortress Whale to summon the <laughs> Helocan. And that's basically wow. how you get shit started. But yeah, so... That is honestly beautiful, bro. That is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not once per turn because back in 2005 or 2004 when this card came out it just once per turn didn't exist uh cards for distrito because distrito is pretty cool and then my fortress spells oath i only have one japanese one the english one's common so it's pleb <laughs> i got my super from japan last time i went wow bro it's a nice old text box too it's cool uh Honestly, I'm in awe right now, bro. <laughs> I mean, what to say? This is actually be so, so beautiful. The combo uses every card in the extra Because <laughs> you don't have floaters. You just have to keep making fucking tokens. You make 10 tokens one turn with this deck. Uh, power tool, because uh, you get basically gets backboard as well. Um, two tomahawks. Two tomahawks. Is two nice. tomahawks. <laughs> no, I have... <laughs> Uh, it's because they're raised. I just like them room. I don't need to sleep them. Uh, two Link Spiders also not sleep because they're not mine. <laughs> so thank God I didn't buy more. <laughs> I found the 20 Link Spiders. Uh, Reproductus and Foxy Dragon because you need them for combo. This can, you just need a Link, link 2. Um, bro, then you can the, use the two bro, tokens and this makes Summon Sark. For the people who don't know, uh, why are you playing Reproductus, bro? Uh, basically turns a Summon Sork into Generic Link 3 because you make the guy under it Dino and you just do Dinos and you got Summon Sork. Beautiful, beautiful. And then Nightmare is for your combo. Uh, yeah. You gotta play all of them for the combo. Uh, Trigate, Summon Sork, and then Firewall. Bro. So you basically end with the same board Goki does. <laughs> you end with the same board Goki does? Yeah. Playing Fortress Whale extra link. Yep, no Goki's in my deck, the same board as Goki. And bro, obviously, Goki. obviously just like Pendulum, you just split screen through hand traps, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. One hand trap, I pass. <laughs> bro, it's okay, bro. Even though if one hand trap pass, just the style points and the swag points for playing Fortress Whale and $200 Fortress Whale and extra linking with it, if people see this, bro, I'm not even hand trapping if I'm playing against you, bro, out of respect. <laughs> if I tell Fortress Whale, you better not hand trap me. No it's chance. just like a mono a mono for the turn. I, it has to. It's that beautiful, bro. That was remarkable. Honestly, just amazing job with it. I can't believe you thought of this stuff. When you first told me you got a Fortress Whale Extra Link, honestly, I, I don't like, I don't usually doubt you. I doubted you so bad. I'm like, oh, this guy's boosting. So Jesse came up to me and said, yo, yo, I got a cool deck, a Fortress Whale Extra Link. I'm like, what's this guy talking about? What's he talking about? Is he just roasting someone famous in the U community? Or is he actually... Nah, I got the goo. <laughs> you actually got the goo, bro. So hands down, you are... All right, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say wait, this for the first time. Wait, what? I'm going to say huh? this for the first time. In my life, Steven Trifonovsky is not the best player in the world. Wow, Jesse finally Cotton some humility. Is. <laughs> Jesse Cotton is. Jesse Cotton right here is the greatest player in the world. I mean, it's not the best deck, but sure. I'll take some credit. Gotta hand it, man. He is okay. the GOAT. He is the Michael Jordan. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.
that was the video, boys. Hope you guys liked it. Jesse Cotton, you're on some next level, bro. I thought I created some crazy stuff. You create uh, even crazier things. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be releasing a 15K, give uh, 15K giveaway uh, invocation play mat. And uh, make sure also to check out yjumarket.com. Link in the description below for 10% off all Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Use PENGOD10. Coupon code PENGOD10. And get 10% off all your cards. You can buy all the pendulum cards you need. All the invoke cards you need for the invocation play mat you might win. And we'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.